Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Get Real and Get Tipsy. I am Amy and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my first um, unboxing product review video and <clears throat> what I thought I would do for my first one, since I've already received three or four glam bags at this point and several um, add-ons, uh, is to kind of go over, um, start from the top and go over everything. So how the program works for Ipsy, um, how the ordering works, um, and go over the products that I've received so far in very, very brief detail. Um, and I will, you know, do a tutorial on a couple of things that I've used so far and what I like about them um, and kind of go from there. And then going forward, I will uh, get my next glam bag and actually unbox it in real time and uh, talk about those products at that time. So um, starting with the beginning, um, Ipsy is a beauty product um, membership subscription service. So you pay, um, depending on how many products you think you want each month, you pay a certain amount. Um, there's three different sized um, membership glam bags or memberships you can choose. Um, I happen to choose um, starting in January the Glam Bag Ultimate membership, which is the most expensive, is the most amount of products that you can get um, each month. And um, it costs about $50 a month and you get over like $200 worth of products, um, eight full size products, um, as well as several um, like fun size products and um, luxury samples as well. Um, and then you also get an opportunity um, when each month, at the beginning of the month, uh, starting on the second day of the month, um, it reveals what your glam bag is going to be. It's going to say what it looks like, um, what products are going to be in that bag, and um, it gives you the opportunity to add other things if you want. Uh, those are called add-ons, and some of them are full-size products. Some of them are smaller, um, you know, sample-size products. Obviously, they're trying to get you to buy you know, full-size samples by offering little miniatures and getting you to fall in love with them. That's the way it works. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's kind of the way it works. Um, on the second of the month, I go on my Ipsy account and it tells me what I'm going to be getting. It gives a description of the product and why they like it and why they've chosen it for me, um, which is really cool. My profile is customized to me based on my preferences that I have set out from the beginning, the types of products that I enjoy the most, um, my level of experience in using beauty products, etc. cetera. Um, and I feel like they are really good about understanding that and choosing things that go and coincide with me and what I've um, chosen in my profile. Anyway, so... Um, I order um, any extras that I want. Sometimes it's just a couple dollars worth of things. Sometimes I don't add any extras, but uh, so uh, the box arrives usually between like 10 and 14 days later. That's the hardest part is like just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting longer. And it's via FedEx so you can track it and you just like see it slowly, very slowly progressing toward you. And it feels like it takes a million years because it's so exciting. It feels like Christmas. Seriously. Um, anyway, so it finally arrives. And this is actually what one of the boxes is and looks like. It says Ipsy here. And then very cleverly, it says on the side to you from you, which I think is very funny and clever. Um, and then on the inside, it's very insulated with a nice um, thick foam so that the products don't get too jostled around during transit. Um, and that's it. You open your box and you look at all your products and you're blown away. Um, so I'm going to start with so far my favorite, um, I guess, category of beauty products that I've received so far, just consistently across the board from Ipsy. And that is their skincare. Um, they're really hitting it out of the park. Um, all of the the brands and lines that they are offering to their customers are incredible they're really 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 high-end products um and i've received some of them that were full size that are like literally 40 dollar valued um you know moisturizers or whatever the case may be this is like super high-end stuff <laughs> 
and um, they're incredible. So I'm going to start with the skincare stuff and then kind of gradually work my way through the actual uh, makeup as well. But starting with uh, number one, I'm going to go with my favorite ever right now, which is the Ahava Time to Hydrate Essential da Daily Moisturizer. Um, it's an Ipsy exclusive. It looks like this. It is two and a half ounces. Um, this is my favorite moisturizer. When this is gone, I am ordering more. Um, I don't care how much the full size price is. I think it's like 20 or $30. And um, it lasts a really long time. Um, the fragrance is really light. Um, it is hydrating, but it's not greasy. Um, it absorbs very quickly um, into my skin and it just leaves it feeling really healthy and fresh and uh, moisturized and I love it. Um, I've received a couple of other um, cleansers and scrubs in months past. I have since already used them, but I, I am telling you right now, they have all been awesome. Um, just great. Um, right now in my most recent uh, March glam bag, which by the way, a March glam bag looks like this, with little studs on it, very cute. Um, this is the most recent cleanser that I received. It's by Honey Jarrett or, or Jarre. Um, it is called the Clean Whip Cleanser. Um, it smells great, um, just very fresh and clean. And um, it feels uh, like, very like marshmallowy and soft. Um, it's like a pillow. Um, so it's really great. My skin feels very just clean and fresh, um, not dried out um, and tight like you do sometimes after you've washed your face and you just feel like you've gotten a facelift or something. It's not like that. It's very gentle, but it's also very thorough. So I enjoy it a lot. Um, next item, which is just barely in second place after my moisturizer is this. I got this in my January glam bag, my first glam bag ultimate. Uh, actually, it might have been my December glam bag before I went to the ultimate. Anyway, it is by 111 Skin, and this is a cryo-activating hydrogel. Um, it smells amazing. Like, it smells like jasmine. Um, it smells so good. Uh, I cannot wait to put it on every single time I put it on. Um, it's very thick, so this is kind of what I use if I want to do like a nighttime cream before bed. I started really ritualistically um, taking care of my skin morning and evening, actually removing all of my makeup before bed, which I didn't used to really do or care about, um, but I started doing it. Um, and so this is oftentimes what I will do. Instead of doing moisturizer at night, I will put this on. And um, it's, you know, it's thicker than a moisturizer it's kind of like a um almost like a pudding texture so a little bit goes a very 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 long way it's lasting a very long time um and i use it almost every single day um and it's fantastic um next item of business we have um i've received a couple of masks um some of them have been sheet masks one of which my daughter used um, and then I received this one a couple months ago. The brand is called Hey Honey, and this one is a um, honey and copper peel off mask. Uh, it's called Take Away the Drama. It's a it's 60 ounces. It's a full size uh, product, so you get several 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 uses out of it. Um, it is a very thick, concentrated, messy, goopy mask, but it's great. Um, it dries very quickly. Um, I don't consider it a peel off mask because it does not, it never gets to a point where I feel like it can peel off. It does wash off very nicely, but you can't, I can't really peel it off. So I wouldn't call it a peel off mask. I would just call it a, you know, honey and copper mask. And, um, it's lovely. Um, my skin feels, um, uh, very soft, um, and rejuvenated, um, my skin complexion feels um, and looks more even and balanced and that's why I like this the most. Um, next is this little guy that I received in my March glam bag. This was an add-on that I selected. It's by a brand called Tatcha and it's the dewy skin cream and this really does make your skin look dewy. A um, little bit goes a very long way. Almost too dewy 
Um, but if you use if you use this as like a moisturizer, and then if you're gonna put makeup on afterward and you use a primer that mats your makeup, then it's fine. But by itself, it makes your face look very, very moist and wet. <laughs> um, so I don't love it, it's not my favorite. I probably wouldn't order it again, um, but I've been enjoying it anyway. And it's purple, like the actual product. You can't tell very well in here, but it is purple and it smells nice. It smells like lavender. Um, all of their products that have any kind of fragrance at all that can have a fragrance smell incredible. It's very bizarre. Anyway, um, moving on. This one I received um, in my March glam bag by the same Hey Honey brand as this Copper and Honey mask. This one is called Show Your Glow and is a colloidal gold and honey beauty mask um, to firm, uh, smooth, and hydrate your skin. It's an anti-aging mask. I think it's supposed to um, increase cellular turnover, all those things that are supposed to help you look more youthful um, and help with wrinkles and dark spots. Um, I have not used it yet, um, but I, based on how the first mask that I've tried works, I have full faith that it's going to be great. Um, now this is the primer that I recently received in my March glam bag. Sorry, you can probably barely read it. Uh, it is by a brand called Yamasqua and, um, they have all kinds of different products. They have a lot of eyeliners that they sell. Um, this is <laughs> the weirdest product I've ever seen or used in my life. Not joking. Um, it is, it is a primer. Um, it's also a moisturizer, but I will tell you, first of all, on the lid, underneath the lid of this container is the teeniest, tiniest, most adorable little spoon scoop you've ever seen in your life. It's hilarious. And you're like, why do I need a little spoon scoop for this? Like, I don't understand. Well, you open it up and this stuff, I kid you not, is like jello. Like it's actually like jello. It just, <laughs> it's super weird. The website, when I was told that I was going to be getting this in my glam bag, said that it's very like futuristic. And that's the best way that I think you can really describe it. It's like this weird futuristic goop that really is kind of addictive and it, um, it, it dries very fast and it does kind of mattify your skin and get it ready for makeup. And I love it. It's really strange at first, but I love it. So I'm going to use this right now because I am going to put some makeup on a little bit goes a pretty long way. So you don't need a lot. I just have, you know, a little amount and I'm just going to rub it in my hands and all over my face. Into my neck because I blend my makeup into my neck, up, all the way up to my lash line. Um, I do have an eye primer as well, but I'm going to put this on my eyes as well, just because I can. And so when it's first drying, it feels a little bit um, tacky, but that goes away eventually, which is nice. Um, but that's it. It's very strange. It looks like jello, but it does not feel like jello. It blends very seamlessly into your skin. So that is that um, in terms of skincare. I'm not talking about foundation. I do have a couple of those to talk about, but um, that's that. I do have one other um, eye mask that I received. It's just a sample size. Um, it's called Celestial Black Diamond Eye Mask. It is by the same company that has this. So I'm looking very forward to using this. I have not used it yet, um, but I'm super excited about it. Moving on. So um, I'm going to start with the basics of um, foundation. Um, I've received a couple. One of them was um, a, a foundation that I selected. I didn't, it wasn't an add on and it wasn't um, a foundation that was part of a glam bag. I just knew that I needed more foundation. And I, you can search on their website by category and just find all sorts of products, the full size versions of them, but they're still at a discounted price because you remember. 
One of their biggest brands that they offer um, in general is Wander Beauty. This is their logo here. And this is um, uh, their liquid foundation. It's very nice. It is a full coverage foundation. Um, it has a really cool brush applicator that is attached to the cap, kind of like a lip gloss or lip balm. Um, and so you can just kind of dab it on a little bit goes a very long way. Um, it blends seamlessly. Um, it blends very matted and, um, powdery. It's just a very light powdery finish. Um, but it is full coverage. So I feel like it's covered everything, but it also doesn't feel cakey or heavy. It's very lightweight, but that's not what I'm going to put on my face right now. I'm going to put on what I recently received in my March glam bag, which was an add on. Um, and it's by a company called Yensa color and face. And this is skin on skin BC foundation, which means it is both, both BB and CC, which means it's a concealer and a foundation in one. Um, oftentimes when I've received a, um, a concealer, uh, foundation hybrid, I feel like they're really, really heavy. Concealers can be very, very heavy. Um, and this is considered to be a full, um, coverage uh, BC uh, foundation and it is but it's very very lightweight um, it's and it's wonderful and it matches my skin perfectly um, it's in the lightest shade I don't remember what it's called um, I don't remember the name of the actual color but it's the lightest one they have because my skin is very fair so I'm going to use that and I'm going to use um, a the most recent brush that I received. The other um, category of items that I feel um, Ipsy is incredible with is their brushes that they offer people. There's usually at least one brush that I've received in each of my glam bags so far, and they're all rad. Um, this one is um, by a brand called Complex Culture. I have a couple of other brushes that I've received with the same brand. And this one is probably my favorite brush that I've ever had in my entire life because it is a triangular angled brush. It is a foundation, liquid foundation brush with synthetic fibers. And this brush, first of all, it, you know, it grabs onto your um, product and it leaves it on the top so that it doesn't suck it all in. So you get the most out of your, uh, of what you buy. Um, and the triangular aspect of this brush makes it so that just every single area of your face is covered your eyes which are normally kind of an annoying part of your face to get completely covered um, it makes it so easy um so i'm gonna use this i'm just gonna squirt some onto my brush like this it blends beautifully i don't love the smell of this foundation it's really strange but um beyond that it's it's fantastic. It looks like a lot right now, but it's going to blend really seamlessly. I have a lot of redness in my face in case you haven't noticed. Um, I've always been like that. Um, it's just the way I was born. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Um, but this foundation covers it up without it looking, um, unnatural. And I really enjoy that. So I'm going to put it all over And you can use the triangular shape of this brush to get all the way up underneath the eyes around your nose. And it gets into all those little crevices really nicely. Blend into my neck because I want all to be harmonious and match. There we go. As you can see, it's just a nice lightweight coverage. Um, it still got rid of all of my discolorations, all of the redness in my face. Um, I had a little zit right here. It covered that up really nicely. Um, but at the same time, it still looks very sheer, very natural and not super heavy. And I think that's great. So that's why I wanted to show you that one in particular. So moving on. Um, I'm going to go ahead 
and work on some contour and um, blush. Um, I have a contour kit. I don't have a contour kit that I've received through Ipsy yet. Um, I just haven't quite pulled the trigger on it. Um, none of them have come with my glam bag. Um, and the other ones that have been offered to me included some other things that I didn't really need. So I've kind of skipped them. So I did buy a contour palette just by itself, a la carte through Amazon. The brand is very good. It's by Elizabeth Mott. And it's the same um, brand that I have my um, eye primer with. This is called Thank Me Later. Uh, sorry, Thank Me Later <laughs> Eye Primer. Um, anyway, the contour colors in here are really nice. There are several different um, shades for several different skin uh, tones and fairness and complexion levels. Um, I'm very, very fair, so I use the lightest one. And let me see if I can find my brush, my handy dandy. This is my angled contour brush. I love this brush so much. This is not one that I received through Ipsy, but it is the brush that I use for contour. Um, it's narrow, it gives that nice line, and it, but it also blends really well as well. Um, so I'm gonna use this middle color, which is called Contour 5. Very, very creative. All of their um, shades, whether they're uh, Ipsy's in particular, not this, um, but Ipsy's, eyeshadows, blushes, um, whatever the case may be, are highly, highly, highly pigmented. Um, a little bit goes an extremely long way. Um, I feel like I really get a bang out of my buck, um, which is really great. Anyway, so I'm going to do a very light line right here. Some of this, these methods that I use are not but you know, others would do or recommend, but it is what works for me. Um, you can do it, you cannot do it. This is more of a product review than it is a tutorial. Um, but I start with a nice kind of clean line right here and then I blend it out. You blend it in the opposite direction that you've applied it, blending upward, and that kind of blends it out don't blend down because then it's going to go way down here. But you start there, blend up. I learned that in um, theatrical makeup class, by the way. <laughs> I do have a certification in theatrical and special effects makeup as well. Because um, I am a theater major. And uh, so I have a lot of my makeup training through there as well. In terms of the weird stuff. Uh, the fun stuff. Okay, I've got my contour. That's basically the only thing I use this brush for. It's just great for that. Um, next, I will use my Complex Culture um, Press and Set brush. It could be used for bronzer, it could be used for blush, anything like that. It is synthetic um, hairs, uh, but this is what I use because it's nice, nice and fluffy. Um, it's not too dense, um, it's not too firm, so you can get just kind of that nice, uh, soft, rosy look to your cheeks. Um, I recently received this through Ipsy. Um, it was in my February glam bag. Um, the brand is Lovecraft Beauty. The different colors in here, you can see uh, the first one is Althea, the middle one is Dauphine, and this one is Ascalia. Um, they're all really nice depending on if I want to have a warmer um, look to my makeup or a cooler one. Um, more often than not, I end up choosing the Altheta, which is this one here. It's just kind of more of a neutral like pink rose color. That's what I'm going to do today. Like I said, you don't need a lot, so I oftentimes kind of shake it out. Um, and I just layer that over the uh, contour. Some people do things differently in terms of the order that they um, do their blush and their highlight and their contour. I do things differently. I'm not, there's no right or wrong way in my opinion. Um, so I tend to like to do my contour, my blush, and then my uh, highlight. Um, and then sometimes I will go back over one or the other depending on 
how everything turns out after I have most of my face put on. Um, so in terms of highlighter, I use this lovely brush, which I just received in my March Glam bag. It is by Luxie, one of the other um, brush brands that I received. It is the Pro Precision Tapered Brush. It's very fluffy. It's extremely soft, and it's this gorgeous periwinkle color. It's rad. Um, anyway, I'm going to use this brush, and my favorite um, kind of thing I use as highlight right now is in this little palette that I received in... I think February. Um, it is by the brand The Balm Cosmetics. Um, this is their alternative rock um, palette and uh, volume one. And all of the colors are rock themed. So we have um, Naughty or Nice, spelled G-N-E-I-S-S, -S, um, Lead Astray, Take It For Granite, Copper Attitude, um, Nice Ash, um, All or Nothing, iron more than you. Um, of course you did. And my highlight color that I use more often than not is called basalt and pepper. And it's just a very light, um, kind of white shimmery opalescent, um, color. It's almost like a strobe color. Um, one might say, anyway, I use a little bit of this. And like I said, this brush is very, um, fluffy and light. So, um, you can, Put a good amount of product on it and it's not going to do much it's not going to like over pack product on your face which is really nice you don't have to worry about that so much anyway i'm going to start with my cheek bones up here underneath my eye start there and we'll do a little bit on my chin I will do a little bit on my cupid's bow here for those of you who don't know that's what that's called cupid's bow uh, a little bit on my little nose here just right along there we go a little here and then I do, I have a smaller forehead. Um, so people tend to just gener generically say, oh, when you contour, you always contour in this th number three shape around your face. I have a smaller forehead. So contouring makes things look smaller or sunken in. And I don't necessarily want my forehead to look any smaller than it is. So what I do, um, this is what I was taught in my theatrical makeup class for stage makeup is I do a little spot right here of my highlight right there you see it do 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 and then I will take my uh, contour brush again that I used before I don't dip it in any more product I just use what's already on there and I will go right here I know it sounds weird but I promise you it works and I'll maybe do a little bit in the temple area And that's it, because my face, like I said, um, my forehead especially, does not need any um, more contouring than that. Um, and then sometimes, if I really want to go crazy on um, contouring and highlight, I will add some highlight here, but I don't have to. I just, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Depends on how much I want my chin to stick out. If I want to try to eliminate, you know, the triple chin, or the double chin, um, I will contour here and down into the neck area, but I don't usually do that unless I have special plans. <laughs> um, so that being said, I got my highlight where I want it, and then I'm going to um, get it all kind of packaged nicely together using powder. The powder that I am using right now was a sample size or fun size um, add-on by the brand Pure, P-U-R. You can't really see it very well, there it is. Um, and it's just their pressed mineral mineral makeup um, in light. And um, this is a great powder. Um, I love it, it's very light, but it gets the job done. Um, it is the perfect color for me. 
just like everything else that's been picked out for me before. So I love that. Um, I start in the neck area. When I apply powder, I tend to um, start with the lightest parts of my face first and then end with my blush because I don't want to get too much color transfer onto this brush. So I'll start down here, go here, go on my lip, go on my nose. I don't do much contouring on my nose because I I'm pretty happy with the shape of my nose. Um, people who don't like the shape of their nose or want it to look a very specific way tend to contour and highlight different aspects of their nose more. I don't really do that because I, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, um, it kind of all kind of blends very harmoniously together no super stark lines, just structure and um, contour and highlight and nothing looks crazy. No clown makeup here, okay? Unless I wanted to look like a clown, which, you know, I have actually worn clown makeup for a show because I was a cloud mime uh, storyteller, um, but not today. Anyway, so here's my, you know, kind of basis for my, the rest of my makeup. I have my uh, primer on, I have my foundation on, my blush, my contour, and my highlight. Um, that's that. Um, next, I'm going to do some eye primer. Now, a lot of people swear that you should not uh, put your face makeup on until after you've done your eyes because a lot of eyeshadow products um, have a lot of fallout, meaning the powdery, you know, material of the eyeshadow falls onto your um, under eye area and then you have to clean it off. So you might as well just wait and put your makeup on, your face makeup on after that. Um, these products um, that I've been receiving through Ipsy have very, very minimal fallout. Um, I don't know why. I don't know enough about the chemical makeup of... Um, you know, what, what they're made out of to know why that is. But I have not had hardly any problems with any fallout happening from my eyeshadow brushes, um, which is pretty incredible. So, but anyway, I'm going, I am going to use my primer. I don't wear primer every time I wear eyeshadow. Um, don't tell anybody I said that. Um, I will today just because I am reviewing products. Again, this is not one that I received, um, through Ipsy, it's one that I ordered separately um, by Elizabeth Mott, and it's called Thank Me Later Mattifying Eye Primer. It is a light pink, uh, kind of opalescent uh, color. I'm gonna just spread that all over my eyelid. It's very silky, which is kind of nice. It's super sticky, like a lot of other, um... oh great. So it's not super sticky like a lot of other um, eye primers out there, but it's, like I said, it's very silky and then it dries and it's just great for holding your makeup in place. So I had that, I rubbed it in. I don't, I tend to just use my finger for eye primers instead of using a brush. That's just me. Um, my finger is small enough to where I can get in there. Um, I'm not going to do a crazy eye right now. I'm just going to do some basics because like I said, I'm just kind of reviewing products right now. Um, but what I'm going to use today, just for the sake of product review, is um, my, let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Um, this one that I just received um, in my Marsh Glam bag that I really enjoy, very um, kind of warm and earthy. It's by the brand Chella this really cute copper um, little palette. It has uh, four colors. My daughter, as you can see, has gotten a hold of this, so it's a little messy, I apologize. Um, there's a shimmery, there's a sparkly, and there's two mattes, um, but they're all kind of warm, earthy um, colors, which um, I don't normally wear super duper warm colors, but when I do, they're usually just kind of like the, you know, like kind of like a rusty or rose color, or warmer browns um, and those tend to work well for me so um, 
This is one of the brushes that I received. It was actually a brush set that I received um, in my February glam bag. Um, it is by Shayna B is the name of the brush company. And um, these are really nice. Um, they're a rose gold uh, and black handle. Um, they are synthetic. Um, this is a domed um, eyeshadow brush. It's very fluffy. I like to use it kind of for my um, eye crease area. Um, it gives, gives kind of a stark, more stark line at the beginning, but then you can really blend it out well so that it looks really nice and even. Um, so I'm going to use this lighter kind of taupey brown color, which is called, I don't even know what it's called, Vitality. Shake it out. And I'm just going to do the basics today, guys. Nothing crazy, like I said. Just adds a little warmth, a little pop of color, but nothing beyond that. Like I said, it's dense enough to impart a lot of color. It's firm, but um, the shape is fluffy, so it does blend well, which is nice. Now, I tend um, to have, you might have already noticed it, I tend to have a slightly droopier right eye. Um, it's mostly my eyelid that just kind of sags a little bit more than this side. Um, so I always <laughs> have to kind of cater my eyeshadow application to that, knowing that this eyelid is going to kind of swallow up some of my eyeshadow application so I have to go a little farther up above my crease than I do on this side um, because of that it's a little strange but I've gotten used to it at this point it's been like that my entire life thank you mom um, <laughs> um, that's just the way it goes so I have that and then I'm just going to take another brush and just kind of blend it a little bit more This is another one of the uh, Shayna B brushes. This is a concealer brush, um, but all is fair in love and war. So I'm using it for this and it's fine. <laughs> and I'm just softening that line, blending it, blending it, blending it, blending it. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, getting close to the end, guys. Don't worry. So before I get into my eyelashes and mascara, um, I have a bit of a confession. I used to have fairly decent eyelashes. Um, very light eyelashes, so they don't look as long as they actually are. Um, but decent, you know, in terms of like lash volume and stuff like that. Now, since I had my second child, my youngest, um, for whatever reason, my eyelashes just changed like overnight, pretty much. They are just much more sparse, um, and thin, um, and they don't curl as well as they used to. <laughs> so, um, I have been, I am desperately trying to find like the mascara that helps me out with that. Um, I may have found it, but I'm not quite sure yet. So I'm not going to endorse, um, any of these mascaras too, too confidently yet. Um, I am going to use one and I will tell you about it. Um, but it's not like my, you know, end all be all mascara to end all mascaras. Um, normally I would curl my eyelashes, but right now I kid you not, it's like not even making a difference. So I'm not even going to bore you with that. I'm just going to go straight to um, some eyeliner and then some mascara. Um, the eyeliner um, that is offered through Ipsy is pretty darn cool. Um, they have some really nice um, liquid liners that they offer through various brands. They have one through uh, Iyama Squa. Um, that's really nice. Um, it's just jet black. Um, they have this one that is by um, 
scone cosmetics it's called insanely intense tattooed eyeliner liquid liner and it's like a pen um and then i've received a couple of really nice um softer pencils this one is a gel like coal uh eyeliner this one is waterproof it is smudge proof it is awesome um it is by uh who is it by um oh it's by Tarte cosmetics i'm sorry i had a brain fart um it's by Tarte cosmetics it's called easy on the eyes um it does not go anywhere um it's great for your waterline both upper and lower waterline um it's fantastic this is just a regular black um, color there's also this one that I received by Trustique, and it is a really nice um, semi-shimmery uh, copper color. Um, it has the tip here, but then it also has one of my favorite products in the entire world. It has a little smudger sponge so that you can blend out and make kind of a smoky um, smudged look with your eyeliner. While I do like to use some liquid liner sometimes, I typically like a softer, kind of um, more blended out um, natural look with my eyeliner. I don't like super stark, sharp lines unless I'm going for a very specific, you know, 1920s or whatever look. Um, so more often than not, I go for one of the pencils versus the liquid liners, um, but the liquid liners are very good. Um, today for the sake of product review, I'm going to go ahead and do the Tarte one. It's cause it's fantastic. Um, they are, uh, self sharpening, which is very nice. Um, this is just black. Um, I'm going to go ahead. It's probably boring the heck out of you, but that's okay. Going to do kind of like a tight line, um, very, very minimal, but then I'm going to blend it out to give it myself a little bit of a smoky, a very light smoky eye. I'm going to do my upper water line up in here. Um, and then I'm going to do my lower lash line as well, and I'm going to blend that out also. As you can see, it glides super smoothly, um, but it also stays in place really nicely as well. Um, the, nice, the other thing I really do like about um, these is, um, you know, they're much more forgiving. Um, if you make a mistake, you don't have to just completely remove it and start over. You can um, fix your mistakes without, you know, completely removing everything. Um, that's one of my favorite things about these kind of softer liners that I use for um, a smokier look. So I'm using the other end of this Trustique um, eyeliner. I'm using the smudger here and I'm just smoking out, not smoking out, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I am smoking my lower lash line and I'm also going to blend out my upper lash line so that it's just kind of a soft um, blurred out effect. You can use a brush for this as well, but I think a sponge does a better job of creating that softer line than um, a brush does. So that's what I'm using. Take it or leave it. You yeah. know? All right. So that's what I have on this side. Obviously this side, you know, you can tell the difference, uh, I think. Anyway, I will do the same thing on this side. Pardon me while I do that. I kind of forgot that I was supposed to be um, drinking and reviewing um, uh, my beverage of the day for my video. Today I am actually uh, drinking a beer. Um, I don't normally drink beer a lot. I just sometimes I like to switch it up and today I felt like switching it up. So I have a beer today that's pretty good. It's called saint archer white ale um it's kind of like a uh, like a half or a blue moon it has that citrusy like bergamot um and coriander flavors it's it's very refreshing and tasty i ordered it via 
Postmates because I was lazy. And it's fine. You know. They're doing a good business now through with the uh, pandemic that's going on. It's good that they're still able to keep their jobs. Because a lot of people can't right now. So I'm trying to do those businesses proud. All right. So I have gotten that. I'm going to clean this up just a little tiny bit. So as you can see, I've just done kind of a softer liner um, and that's it. Um, nothing crazy. Now, I have received so far three mascaras through Ipsy. Um, the first one that I received was in my January glam bag. It is by Thrive Cosmetics. Um, it is the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. Um, I've seen and heard a lot of amazing reviews about this mascara. It's pretty nice. I will say the formula is extremely um, luxurious feeling. Um, in that regard, it's really nice. I do not think for me personally, um, this works for me. It does clump in my opinion, because it's a very, very wet formula, even though it is kind of nice feeling, it's very wet and it clumps. Um, so I don't typically go for this one, um, unless I'm going for a super weird kind of like spidery look with my eyelashes, which I mean, sometimes that works, but that's not usually what I like to go for. I like a more soft kind of fluttery eyelash. So, um, I don't usually get this one, um, for my eyelashes. Then I got, um, in my February glam bag, this one, or no, this one was an, actually an add-on. Um, the, uh, brand is called Duché. Uh, I think it's a, uh, Italian brand. Um, it's called Pump, Punk Volumizer Mascara. Um, it's pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Um, it's a very thick, fluffy brush, um, you, as you can see. The formula feels really nice as well. Again, it's a very wet formula. Um, it doesn't, it's not as clumpy as the Thrive Cosmetics one, but it still is a little clumpy um, if you continue to layer um, on top, you know, coat after coat, uh, whereas some other mascaras, you know, don't do that. So I will sometimes use this one, but more often than not, I am using this one right now. It is by Wander Beauty, the, one of the brands that I was saying, um, has been killing it recently. It's the same uh, brand that has this cool uh, foundation with the um, applicator brush built in. Anyway, this mascara is by that same brand. It's called Unlashed uh, Volume and Curl Mascara. And it is pretty great. Um, again, my eyelashes right now need some help. Um, so they're only going to look so great by themselves. I don't tend to like strip lashes, um, lash extensions look amazing on me, but obviously it's a lot of maintenance. It's super expensive. They only look good for like three days and then they start, you know, doing weird things. So, um, I've been trying to just stick to mascaras and trying to, you know, um, <laughs> deal with that as creatively as possible. So this is what I'm going to use for today. The wand is very soft. Um, it is curved. It's supposed to help promote the curl factor. Um, it is a little like more narrow, uh, but it is still very like soft and fluffy, uh, which is nice uh, because it creates a softer and more fluffy um, eyelash. So I'm going to go ahead. It is a drier formula, which for me, I think is the key to um, being more buildable and not clumping. Um, that's just my opinion, of course, but uh, that's just what so far has worked better for me in terms of getting the look that I like the most. All right. So there you have it. My eyelashes look much more lively. My eyes look awake. Um, 
I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on my brows right now. Um, one, because I don't have a lot of time left. And, but secondly, and most importantly, right now I've been enjoying, so I recently, as you can tell, started um, going platinum and it's a journey that I'm continually working on right now. And um, so my eyelashes, or my, sorry, my, my hair, um, <laughs> you know, is in this weird blonde, silvery purple um, state of existence. And um, no eyebrow pencil color out there or gel color out there, I don't care how ashy or taupey it claims to look, is cool enough to look good with <laughs> this hair color. Um, in my opinion, it just doesn't look natural. Um, so more often than not, what I've been doing is just um, brushing my eyebrows as they are. I've been trying to be better about either getting them waxed or plucking them so that the shape is maintained and I'm happier as, you know, as happy as possible with them in their natural um, kind of undone and unfilled in state. Um, so I will brush them. This is, um, something that I got in one of my glam bags. I think it was my January or February. I don't remember which one. Uh, it's by Billion Dollar Brows. Um, it came with this um, dual-ended um, eye brow pencil and wand, you know, brush. Um, it came with this double-ended um, brow duo pencil that has concealer and highlighter on each end and then a clear um, billion dollar brow gel. Um, this is a pretty good brow gel. Um, it's not super um, thick. It doesn't have a super strong hold, which if, if you like your eyebrows to still feel softer, it's great. I tend to, if I'm gonna wear brow gel, it's for a purpose usually. It's because I want that kind of really kind of structured look to my eyebrows but I still want them to look, you know, natural. So um, if I'm gonna buy, go all out and buy like the super expensive brow gel, it's usually gonna be Anastasia Beverly Hills. They just have the best stuff. Their clear brow gel is rad. This is pretty good. Um, so I will use it just for uh, the purpose of completing my look for today. Um, it does, you know, have some hold, but not, not a ton. So that is that. Um, one of the last things I'm going to go over right now is, um, just some finishing touches. So, um, lip colors. All right. So really quick, a couple things. I received these recently. They were add-ons, um, in my February clam bag. This one is by, um, gosh, I don't even remember. I really need my glasses. Um, <laughs> The brand is Color Kind, and the color is Sunset Boulevard. Um, it's a really nice, just kind of like rosy um, pink color. And then um, this one is um, Anti-Matter lipstick, lipstick, so it's a very matte um, nude lipstick color. For today, I'm just gonna use this, uh, just because it's just natural looking. Um, it's very matte. It lasts a long time. Uh, it doesn't come off unless you want it to come off. As you can see, it's just, you know, giving my lips some definition, but not like a ton of color. And then I'm going to go over this with my new favorite lip gloss. Um, it's by Jules Smith Beauty. Um, it came in a two pack. One of them is kind of a lighter pink. And then this one is a more like orangey 
coral. Um, I'm gonna go with this one just cause it goes a little while more seamlessly with my look right I have right now. And this lip gloss is great. Um, it has a nice flavor fragrance to it. Um, it has a nice little shimmer and shine. It is not sticky. I do not like sticky lip gloss. It's one of my pet peeves. Um, I am a crazy obsessed freak about my lips. I will not ever tolerate my lips getting dried out or chapped. Um, I will always have chapstick or lip gloss or lip balm or something. Um, so I'm very, 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 very picky about my lip products. <laughs> And I do not like a lip gloss that is sticky. Um, this one is really nice. Last but not least, I'm going to get to um, some hair care products and kind of just miscellaneous products. I'm almost done. First of all, this came in my March Glam bag. It is a setting spray. It is by um, Pixie by Petra. It's called Glow Mist um, with propolis and argan oil. Um, it's all right. Um, it does its job. It's not something I'm like crazy about. Um, but like I said, it gets the job done. It feels very refreshing when I spray it. Um, oh, all over my face. It's very nice. Um, it's a setting spray. So you just spray it on after all of your makeup is on. There you go. Um, next I'm going to talk about a couple of hair care products. Um, this one is a Satin Dream Leave-In Cream. It's kind of like a leave-in conditioner by Eva NYC. Uh, this is just a tiny little um, luxury sample size. Um, it has a really nice fragrance to it. Um, it's kind of like, um, if any of you have tried uh, the Moroccan oil brand, the actual brand Moroccan oil um, in their products, um, it smells similar to that. Um, and it does have argan oil in it, um, but it detangles, smooths, and moisturizes for all hair types. It's very lightweight, which is nice. Um, a little bit goes a very long way. So just like a little pea-sized um, amount is good for me in particular because I have short hair. I will rub it all throughout my hands and go. I try to go just from my like mid shaft to ends and not focusing on my roots right now because I have something else that I'm going to put on my roots. So try to just evenly distribute it throughout mm -hmm. the ends of my hair. I'll even like rub it in like this to really kind of get it in there. Um, if nothing else, it at least kind of gives my hair a nice refreshing um, look and smell to it, which that's never a bad thing either. Um, now, my next hair care product that I put in after that leave-in cream is probably my favorite hair care product that I've ever had ever and it is this it's very bizarre um, the brand is Kemet Biologics 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 um, and it is called burdock root buttercream I don't know now I will say one thing that I get a little bit annoyed with uh, with these kind of um, B-side brands is um, a lot of them don't come with any kind of just directions on how to use them. Um, so you kind of just have to guess um, the best application process. This stuff is one of those products. Um, it's, I don't know where it's from. I don't know if it's from, I don't know where it's from, but um, it doesn't have any instructions. It doesn't say how much to use. It doesn't say if it should be done on wet hair, dry hair, damp hair, towel dried hair. Um, uh, if it should be applied to all of your hair or if like the title says it should just go in your root area um, I believe that it's mostly for your root area to kind of give it some lift and some pliability um, which that is why I love it um, it has kind of like a citrusy scent it's not an amazing scent but it smells pretty good it's just kind of refreshing a little bit goes a very long way and it kind of just has like a creamy um, appearance to it. Now, when I rub it into my hands, it kind of becomes almost like a paste, but it does not make your hair sticky or crunchy like some hair paste do. Anyway, I kind of rub this into my roots, which is kind of strange, but this is what I do because this is kind of what it's for. And I will 
start with my roots and then do it throughout the rest of my hair but i will focus on my root area because it's called root butter and like i said i feel like it just kind of gives my hair which is you know kind of at a that funky kind of fun playful length it gives my hair kind of a fun pliability it could go you know in any direction that i want really um if i wanted to do it this way i could do it this way and it'll kind of stay in place um, with the help of this product, I could do it this way, I could do it this way. Um, and it's kind of just, it's, it makes my hair a little more versatile. Is kind of the best way that I can describe it. So that's that. Almost done. A couple more things. Um, this I received in my, I think my January glam bag. And it is called This Works. That's actually the name of the brand, which is silly. And it is a um, a spray relaxer. So it's called Deep Sleep Pillow Spray, as you can see. Um, and it says, fall asleep faster naturally and wake up refreshed. Um, it has a fantastic lavender fragrance. Um, and I honestly think that's really the only reason it's supposed to be relaxing is that you spray it onto your pillow <laughs> Very strange. You spray it onto your pillow or you spray it onto your covers before you get into bed and it smells like you're at a spa getting a massage. You're at Brooke Williams and you're just getting pampered and you just have that relaxed, you know, sense of harmony and zen about you. That's what this does. Um, I would not say that this makes me sleep any better, but it does kind of provide a calm while I'm trying to fall asleep. And I do like that. All right, next. This came in my um, March Glam bag. It is the Hemp's brand. This is not my favorite brand of lotion. Um, in terms of how well it works, I know it's very good, but the fragrances are not my favorite. This is very kind of tropical pineapple-y. Um, I don't like the smell of pineapple or coconut very well, so I'm not gonna use this very often. I'll probably give it to my daughter. Um, but there's that. Now, last but not least, my friends, first of all, I'm going to show you this box. I'm going to unbox this one product because the box is adorable. This is the, um, Library of Flowers is the brand. It is an American small batch perfumery that produces hand creams, lotions, etc. That It's all natural. It has cocoa butter in it. Um, and it comes in this adorable little box. Like, how cute is this? And I kid you not, this is like a $40 hand cream that came in my um, March glam bag. Anyway, I didn't think I would care so much about a hand cream. Like, <laughs> but this is the tube that it comes in. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit so far. A little bit goes a very long way. It is not greasy. Um, or sticky, but it is um, very luxurious in how it feels. Um, and oh my gosh, this lotion is the greatest smelling thing I think I've ever smelled in my whole life. It is, I can't even explain it. It's sweet. It's, it smells like cupcakes and flowers, which sounds like really weird, like it wouldn't go together, but it smells so good. It's like marshmallowy and like, I, I can't even explain it. You just, I recommend highly that you look into the brand and buy it because it smells so good and it lingers for a very long time. Um, and if I could, I would bathe in it probably. Um, it's so good. Um, that is, everything that I have right now through Ipsy that um, I feel is worth talking about. There were a couple of other things that I've received that are just kind of like whatever. Um, but that's my introduction in terms of kind of laying, laying down the land of what I um, have received so far. My regular unboxing videos are going to be much shorter because it's just going to be that one um, month's supply. This is like five months worth of products. Um, that I just went over. Um, but I love Ipsy so far. It's fantastic. Um, I can't wait to get more. I can't wait to share more with you and tell you all about it. 
and see what you think. Um, please like my video, subscribe if you want, and I will see you in a couple weeks when I get my next bag.